Hey there, and welcome back to Inkbound, the new roguelike action strategy game by Shiny Shoe. Today we're moving on to Weaver. Weaver is my favorite class in the game, and I also actually believe it is the strongest class, though I think it is the least intuitive to play. I think positioning is a very important aspect of it, and despite the fact that I think it probably has the lowest win rate. I'm speculating. That is not a that's not data driven. I am speculating based on commentary I see from most folks. Despite that, I think that it is nuts and I kind of want to show it off a little bit at the highest tier. You kind of just want to balance offense with defense as a general strategy. There are certain bosses that are more dangerous early than others. I think, for instance, Lusk is a much harder enemy to face if you don't have something like Cleave or Chain Lightning to force out clears because they do all guaranteed damage, right? Your blocks don't matter, or rather it evades don't matter or other tools like that. So, uh, and they can put out a lot of damage, so be careful. But with all that said, I think it's very powerful. So I'd like to, I'm looking forward to playing it. Our previous run was with Moss Cloak. It was a win. It was tight. I think it was very close because, I mean, I think this class, in my personal opinion, is the weakest right now. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. They're all very strong. They're actually quite good in terms of offensive and overall presence and balance. I think it's pretty hard to pick a worst. The only reason I lean towards this guy being the worst is he has no baked in defense. He's the only class with no defense in his default kit. And the only default defense he can really pick up, other than like the my favorite binding, which is dash through an enemy for shield, is you get evasions. And evasions, like I said, don't work on guaranteed damage. A lot of some of the more veteran players are very up in arms about the idea of changing evasion, thinking it'll completely break the game. I think that that would be a worthwhile change to then rebalance the game around. Very strong opinion of that. I think that it, it is a necessary tool. I mean, think about how many people are complaining about, oh man, guaranteed damage, no counterplay. I mean, it, they're not wrong, right? Wouldn't it be great if the defensive option you saw, evasion, actually worked on that? And like, you can completely balance other things if you need to. If it increases win rates too high on certain vestiges, you nerf those vestiges in other ways or make them not stack or something or just change them. I mean, it's, it's kind of dumb, right? To look at this, to look at, for me, Seeing someone go, well, you know what, Moss Cloak, he should suck because there are some vestiges over there that are great. And I'm just looking at that art logic thinking, what are you talking about? Come on. So whatever, I'm not going to get into it too hard, but I feel pretty strongly that Moss Cloak needs defense. You cannot change my mind. Anyway, let's play the Weaver. So as always, do like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I can't tell if we're at 3000 or not, because by the time I'm recording this, we're not, but by the time this goes up, we might be. I have no idea. I've got a few videos recorded actually right now. I've over recorded a couple weeks in a row since Inkbound came out. So we're in an okay spot actually. Means I kind of can't predict things. Oh, I did want to mention before I forgot actually, there's technically going to be a giveaway as part of this episode as well. Hooray. So there's a little emote. This guy, Scribbles. You can see the little cat that runs around you. Extremely cute, big fan. At the end of this run, I'll give you some keyword based on the run. And if you use it in a sentence, as I describe, then you'll qualify and I'll pick one of the people who, do who does that. And I will somehow figure out how to get you a scribbles, basically. It's going to be tough because I have to figure out how to actually send people things. But, you know, because I can I email the account attached to the YouTube account? I don't know. It's hard to say. We'll figure it out. Maybe if you all join Discord ahead of time, then I'll be able to actually easily figure out who you are and we can make it work. So anyway, all right, what did we do last time? Last time it was Runestone. I'm I'm adopting a double rotation in this game. So I want to rotate a, a class and then rotate boss. So no Runestone this time. So Cinder is an option or Argalath. Am I going to really apply dazed or critical hits 60 times with Weaver? That's a little tricky. It might be possible, but it's going to depend on vestiges a bit. I think the visit the Carver three times is at least guaranteed. We'll take Cinder. Sure, let's do it. Cool. I kind of wanted to do Argolath, but I do know that he's a bit crashy right now in the live game. So, hard to say. 
on your turn, inflict one stack of burn to all enemies, plus three burn damage. This is strong, but it's slow. Softened Wispit is one of my favorites. On your turn, gain one physical power until end of combat. I can't really benefit from this, though, very well. It's just Constrict. So I don't think it's going to be that. This would be great if I were Obelisk or Magma Miner or even you know, any of the physical classes or Moss Cloak. I think it's going to be Flamio, right? Yeah, I think it is. This is just strong. Yeah, we'll take it. It's good. I, I don't think it's ideal, but it's good. Quickened Constrict. In fact, I think when you see a green in this opening pack, it's pretty good. I'm going to do that. That's strong. That way you can skip putting a common in one of your things, which I think is good. Anyway, let's not start with Ink Shell or Ink Shield. I guess we're going to go fight Lusk with the Gunk Filled. Gross. I'm going to need to power up into this then. Or see pull enemy upgrade. That's going to be important as well, possibly. We'll have to see. It's hard to say. Take money, as usual. Money is always the strong play right now. This is a major balance issue in the game right now. The initial vestiges actually just straight up put you behind if you take them. And then because you're replacing them later is a big challenge, right? All right, let's blast. Bam. And then I'm going to blast. How are you guys looking? I should kill this guy over here and then take this. He's dead. Yeah, let's play it. Cool. Sure. Fine. We'll skip this now. Okay, I need to charge this up. I am going to take a hit here, it looks like. Kind of nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, I need a blast big man here. We're going to wiggle out. I'm going to take four, it looks like. This is kind of just what it's going to be, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We're not killing all of them, but we are in an okay place. Yeah, they threaten a lot of damage here, so we need to prioritize actually killing scary guys. So do the stitch down below. Get this orb. We're going to now try to line up these kills down here. Well, we didn't get it perfect. As a result, I am going to take some gunk damage, but I'm going to walk out. It's fine. I think we might be able to deal with this guy. Maybe. It's not ideal. I hate gunk filled. Have I ever told you that? Hold up. I get the kill. Incredible. I don't take five damage. Go me. So I walk out of that taking eight. It's fine. In fact, it's so fine. I'm just going to restore eight health here. Look at that. Amazing. Well, this sucks. Frost infused threads, I guess. I mean, sure, why not? It's something. It's better than elemental stitch here, I think. Sure, not a very great upgrade, but usually those are pretty depressing in general. I don't like the common upgrades, it turns out. Anyway, here I go, click and chain lightning again. It's gotta be chain lightning, 100%. Chain Lightning is just very good, especially into Lusk. I mean, that's just going to be an important play. He has so many adds that I can't afford to go full on defense on. So. Look at this. Chain Lightning. Incredible. Now, ideally, what you do is you get controlled weaving. Okay, we're not going to get controlled weaving, and that's just going to have to be okay. Take this orb. Now I can... Yeah, that can actually save some stuff here. I can double kill here. Or I can get a lot of money here. I think the money is the right pick, yeah? Yeah, that's that's good. Now, with fewer guys, I do the the Constrict. That's a much better turn, taking zero here. A lot of enemies. This is a very scary combat, in fact. Yeah, this is a pretty scary combat. Get controlled weaving here. Let's 
wiggle first, then do this. Okay, now, Ditch is maybe a little greedy here, but I like it, so I'm going to do it, and I don't think you can stop me. This is a very good crit to have had, though. Yeah. How much health does this guy have? 26? Eight ability power doesn't get me that. I would have had to use the potion of power before. I lost money. I maybe should have considered that. There's a better turn for it, though. Like, if I lose, I lose, like, mm, a little bit of cash here. It's not that bad, though. Here, no goop, please. Thank you. Let's tag him. Well, that man died. That's great. Get these people. It's good. Orb. Hmm. There may have been a better play here. Only taking four? Oh, it's because I had three shielding. Interesting. Yeah, all right. I mean, so the right play, I think, is to just kill a couple dudes and try to be as far away from them as possible. Yeah. Ugh. Fine. There's a little bit of an exploit here. If I move a little bit, I think I wiggle out of it. It's okay. Actually, I did that, and it still walked me into the exit one, so unfortunately, it was not a great call. Well, we're going to try our best. Give me this orb here. We're going to blast this man. I took some damage there. Not a big fan of it, but that's okay. Cool. Crit damage, not great. Physical power, not great. I guess we heal again. It's fine. I don't like not powering up, but I also don't want to reroll those. I'll take quickened lightning here because the other ones all suck. Yeah, they're all bad. Fine. Let's go upgrade. Please and thank you. It's important. AoE thread is pretty excellent. I think it's hard to skip this. Yep, it's going to be the AoE thread. Absolutely. We'll move over here. Ooh, more shield, more shielding. Or actually, I have fast constrict. So I think fast constrict for shield is very good here. We'll take that. I'm a fan. Get a little bit of health. That's good. I do want alt. Yes. I do not need the glyphs. I did not have to spend any, which is great. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do because they don't give you a good binding choice. Where's everyone? Okay, we're not going to get any lineups. That's fine. Only three enemies here. Cool. I need to kill the channeler here, but I think, man, I really can't. They're so spread out. Chain lightning isn't even good. That's a shame. Well, we're going to blast one guy for sure. I'm going to do hit, orb, hit, and I take zero on the turn at least, which is something. I'm going to have to deal with this loser, though, because he's going to make everyone take, like, a, do a bunch of damage to me. Can I hit everyone with this? I can't. Thank goodness. Cool. I'm going to take some damage from it, so, but it's going to have to be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Orb. 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 I know I messed up the shock there, but I needed to do that. We're going to now generate shield here. Pump it. Orb. Pump it. We should move to zero. Yeah, cool. As it turns out, Constrict that gives shield for each enemy hit is quite good. You know, there's that. New spawns. It's a channeler back there. Ugh. Blazing barrier is gross. Ugh. <sighs> it's fine. I should actually kill that guy first. Okay. Three shield. Orb. Move here. Three shield. I don't do a lot of damage, all right? So, this is kind of just what we're dealing with here. I, I do not a lot of damage, is kind of the reality of this world. 
That'll have to just be where we're at. I do want to thread everything. Then I want to do chain lightning. Now I want to Kamehameha some enemies. Good. Orb thing. Orb thing. I only take the one. It's fine. If I had ordered that maybe a little different than I could have done it, but I really wanted the enhanced thread on the shock there. So I don't really have a great answer for this other than to say Ink Drain sucks. Changed my mind. Yeah. These guys have Ink Drain. I didn't explain this, but this is just, it's just super brutal. Every time they hit me, I take a batrillion damage. But even if I take zero here, it's like... It's like, okay, killing him is good, but if I took zero on the turn, I'm still four max hit points down. I hate that. That's It feels bad. Reduce damage reduction, but I get three ability power. I mean, I'll tell you straight up, just doing 30% more damage is very good. I do really love Tiny Hearthstone, though, to be clear, but I think we need to do more damage. Just seeing where we were at there, we're doing okay on survivability thanks to Constrict's benefits. So let's take the Whispered Invitation for power now. We'll take some burn damage, sure. If I can lean into it, that might be nice. Three Prepared Constrict is pretty good. Kind of. I can do better here. Inflict Hex, huh? Yeah, it's not terrible. Plus 10 damage to each additional enemy hit. It's not bad either. I don't love this. I could spin this, actually, and I will. Yeah, I want a prepared Stitch or something to go into Stitch here. Making it free, I think, is good. And as long as I keep two Glyphs, we're okay. We do that for the binding stuff. Okay. This is suboptimal, I suppose. I'm going to take Blink because it doesn't require a reroll and it's good. This is a low defense line, which means I'm going to be relying on defense from elsewhere. Which shouldn't be too hard to achieve, right? What do we get? Brain Tuna? All right, Brain Tuna is good. I'm going to eat it for the boss. Brain Tuna is incredible. We love, our, we love ourselves some tuna. Give me something good. Collecting an orb, inflict dazed on defeating an enemy, gain will, maybe? I hate 25%. I hate relics like this. This is gross. On your turn, a random binding gains one cost discount and reduce the cooldown of your highest cooldown binding by one. Yeah, I mean, this is just objectively good in all scenarios. That's nice. Sea Trickle is probably fine. Probably fine. I need damage now, and I don't feel like re-rolling this. All right, we'll take it. it it's 10% damage now for some stuff. My burn build is looking tragic. I have not found any burn. I've got Flameo and, like, two burn damage, but none of it matters. So, like, we're only applying one stack. I mean, it's not nothing, admittedly, but not good either. I get all three of you losers? Maybe. I move like this, possibly. I should be able to get you two up top, though. Interesting. A lot of things are zero cost here, which I'm not really sure where that's coming from, but I mean, it, okay, yeah, this is zero because of that, of course. Well, I guess it Blink always does that, so the Zero cost rolled on stone pitch pipe there. So it just looks funny. Interesting. All right, so I need to get controlled weaving out. We'll do it. Good. Okay, we do chain lightning here. We don't hit everyone, sadly, but that'll just have to be okay. I then can get a big slam here, which I think kills like everything, which is good. We, like, just kill everything is strong, it turns out. Why oh, I have a quest to do something with this? Interesting. What is it? I'm defeating an enemy, have a chance to gain stuff? Huh, funny. Blink. 
like actually does nothing for me. So, I mean, it's fine. I will use this to gain some shield though, at least. Hold this man threaded, I'll stab him a bunch, sure. Okay, fine. All right, thanks for guaranteed damage, extremely cool. Always appreciate that, Lusk. Great, great boss design. Take this one. I do want to get controlled weaving here. It's good. Let's power up defense here. Good. Last Lusk, because I need to do non-zero damage. I have this blink, so I'm not really worried about it. Take the orb. Let's blast him again. I am taking straight up zero here. So, I mean, I may as well just shoot him instead, I guess. Okay, fine. We're not doing great, but I'm also not doing bad. The defense I'm getting here is pretty good, right? I'm able to generate enough shield that this isn't terrible, but our offense is bad. Just full disclosure, I'm, do I'm nickel and diming him down here with a bunch of threads that do 28 damage a pop, which is not great. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna do bombs on him. Really not much else to say here. Blast him here. I'm gonna try to phase. It might be possible. When he doesn't spawn an enemy, it's pretty difficult. No, it's actually not possible. Not without spending the chain lightning, and that is wrong to do. So I'll accept my three here. Yeah, we just accept that. This is a, oh, I guess he, he did, wait, he did phase? Now he didn't phase there. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck, Inkbound? You're doing me dirty. It's fine, my angle here is to get some value out of Pain Lightning here, right? And then we just can't actually phase the boss. Are you serious right now? I can at least kill every enemy, but that's gross. Use the, okay, here's the deal. I need to actually try to get defense here because we're not looking so hot right now. Zap guy, I'm gonna zap both these guys if I can. I'll move here, which lets me zap like this. I will blink to the left, which lets me get these friends, which means I should have controlled weaving, and I do, which means I can shield up. Okay, apparently I completed some quest, whatever. Great job, I unlocked a thing, go me. All right, that phase, that phase change timing was mean lust. I'm not happy about that at all, right? I, I just, I don't know what to say other than BS. He, he should not have done that is the thing. I don't like it. Okay, I need this man and I need to use this for shield here to the best of my ability. I'm taking one damage, it looks like. This is gonna be pain. Yep, this is pain. Especially when this loser doesn't give me any enemies to work with. Do I just zap him for 42 damage? This is like super pointless. Ugh, how double crits I'll take. Gross. Not good. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Now we do get some enemy spawning, which is at least something. I am a little bit concerned, if only because I get a sick zap here, I can. So let's stock up. I need to turn this into as much damage as the game will let me. So we're gonna do it. Then I blast. Orb Blast, and we maybe get this kill? Do I get it? Oh my god, we did it. Incredible work. I did take some damage there, because that was rough. Yeah, this is why I save glyphs. I do not want 
any of these blink ascensions, we re-roll it. Yeah, this is much better. This is considerably better. Entwine doubles the damage, which is good. But I think since I'm going wide here, I think I'm going to go strangulate, which means it doesn't divide, which is good. I'll just do 110 to everything. Well, no, I'm going to go entwine, actually. I want this because I need single target damage as well, and doubling this is important. So we take entwine. That is a good pickup. We're happy with that. Yeah, plus 60 damage to threaded enemies is quite strong. Although evasive blink is maybe a requirement here. I think that's actually possibly true. Yeah, I'm going to take evasive blink here. I actually think I do need to gain some defense on this run. So that's that's pretty good. Feeling decent about that. Cool. Honestly, this sea trickle, I don't know what I I mean, I guess I guess I got will back for it. It's kind of a weird scenario. I guess I did some quest though, so that's cool. For physical power. It's honestly not bad. It's better than burn damage if my only burn damage is Flameo. All right, all right. Four physical power pumps this up to 340. It's worth it. Shimmering barricade, heavy pockets. Both of these are viable, right? It's true. Making bosses a little harder to kill is tricky. But I don't know. I could see myself going either way. Heavy pockets is also fine. I like the movement, though, although I do have blink to combat it. A little scared of bosses, aren't I? Garden's Edge has what Nim the Lost. He has some guaranteed damage. So does Janus, though. I'll take the I'll take the Garden's Edge. I think I, I value my movement on this compared to this. I think the Shimmering Barricade is fine. Yeah, I get a lot of money here too, which is nice. Okay, Superior Vault. Give me power. I need to become strong. What is this? A prickly puffer. All right. Well, I'm just gonna eat that then. Behold, the power of my fish. Take some money. It's fine. Oh, there's a random potion over here. We'll look at it. What do we get? Potion of power. I'll use the disintegration potion in this combat, I think, then. Oh, my God. Bats. Yikes. Bats. It's okay. We have the power of chain lightning on our side. I need to thread one guy. And then I need to chain lightning this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to look weird. But now I just strangulate and all the guys die. And we also do a million damage here. Yeah, you you 100% strangulate this. Kaboom. That saves a million damage. Then, I'm, then I get controlled weaving for free because all of the other ones died. Which is incredible news. And... You just take the orb. I murder this man. Getting rid of a team captain on turn one, that's a win. Well, that's a good turn one, I guess. See, the thing is, is we're actually in a pretty okay spot as far as, like, all of this is concerned, right? I can do an orb. I get a free jump, and then I can line them up. And now we can do really sick plays. Boom. I'm going to walk so I can get this orb and then kaboom again. And I think that yeah, reduces me to zero and gives a re reasonable boost here. Let's chill. I may as well hit this guy, right? Save stitch. May as well, I'm just going to hit him with thread. That's okay, yeah? Fine. He, of course, team captains himself. Unfortunate. Sure, he heals himself. Whatever. We get double one team captain here, which is not good. I do get chain lightning back, however, which is grand news. So the play here is as before, we chain lightning, we kaboom the world. I think I back out real quick to hit the guys. Yep. I'm going to wiggle back in, take the orb, wiggle back out, and then we bomb this. Which kills a guy, and I have plenty of... I win the combat, actually. Cool. So we take zero on that combat, which is great. 
Which means I'm just gonna switch the potion of power over here. I think the eight ability power is better. Token of regret. I don't like this. I guess burden of wisdom is fine. Although I did take all that physical power. That's kind of a, a thrash, not a fan. One will is good, but like, look at this. I already have good will control with pitch pipe and some other, and like the blink. I don't love this. I'd rather cooldown stuff. I'm gonna reroll this. Yeah, okay, this is much better. Harmonizing Whistle, I can absolutely synergize with on Entwine and Thread, and it's 10% bonus damage. Yeah, this is just much better. I do like Tracker's Cleats a little bit, kind of, but this is better. Cool, 9% crit chance is a very strong pickup here. Yes, critting on Entwine is good, it turns out. Sturdy threads out of the gate. Now, more defense? It's not bad, right? I don't mind. My defense is not bad, but not amazing. Sure. Inflict an additional stack of shocked. Does this mean I can do some real cheeky stuff? This is big AoE, but I actually think I'm going to go with sturdy threads here. Yeah. Now, I'd like to get some... Oh, gross. No shop or anything, huh? Sea Breach. Garden. I think the Garden is a stronger play here, but the Sea Breach could be good. Breaches are not that impressive. They're too, too random, and they don't give you enough value. The Shrine might actually be worth considering. The, the Gardener is just the strongest node here, though, for sure. Yeah, she just is. She's really good. It's actually one of the nice things about this. Look at this. You get a sick heroic vault for free and just like, look at this. 192 is where I'm starting. Okay. We'll see how much money I made today. Okay. So like 50, that's actually on the low side, but like 50 money. Then I have a conversation, blah, blah, blah. Great job. We're thriving. Cool. And then I get a free relic out of it. Like that's sick. That's really good. On your turn, smite enemies inflicted with burn or frostbite. Does my Flameo count? Like, does Flameo go first and then Blooming Un? Because this is just great, if so. If not, then that's kind of sucky. I guess we'll find out. It's best thing here, for sure. Eight ability power until a binding is used. Nah, I don't like Scorch Request here because it's likely I need to lead with threads. I'll take the Un. The Blooming Un. Globes. Give me globes. Cool. I need to make sure I have two globes walking into the next Ascension, which it looks like I will have. Ooh, money. I almost missed this money. Great work. Also a free healing. Okay, that's a little bit of a spooky combat to be dealing with here. Interesting, interesting. So, if I orb this friend, the pot, and then we chain lightning the right side. I should be able to crit out all of those guys on the right side for maximum damage. Good. I now wish to aim for controlled weaving here. Good. I'm going to greed for money, which is good for me. Last here. Take the orb. Do it again. Yeah, I'm taking zero, and it looks like I might actually get all the cash, which is good. It's, watch the, the smiting. Do I get the smiting? Yeah, I do, actually. That's cool. This is going to be an easy one. Hmm. Is that a bad chain lightning, actually? That is a bad chain lightning. It's not even worth the nodes. All right. We're, we're seeing the challenge here, though, right? I have to somehow kill this guy with 2,500. I'm just doing nothing, straight up nothing to this guy. It's rough. So what I need to do is I need to abuse shield gain. I can teleport wherever I want. I don't need to do anything too crazy. So we double blast. I orb. I probably go, right? We... We need to hit this guy up here, otherwise he's gonna cause me problems, right? 
So I do it. Kill him. Now I teleport somewhere out of here, right? I guess I could actually walk to a zero spot, but... You may as well orb, right? There's no reason not to. It's, I, get, I get evasion! Huzzah! Look, I'm doing it. Oh, actually... Oh my gosh, I triggered... That's right, I triggered Harmonizing Whistle by doing it. Which lets me get another blast here, which is super worth that. Great, honestly, cool. Take eight, could have been worse. I get a pretty good bomb here. If I get a good chain lightning, yeah, so we do a good chain lightning. Excellent. Hit them all. This will nuke out a bunch of stuff. Now I want to go for controlled threading. Good. I want to hit hard here, which lets me go double on this. Yes. Then I orb. Then I go again. With a lot of shield I'm generating. Then I teleport. Then I orb again. Then I blast again. We're just really going. And I guess we hit the guy on the right because why not? Oh, we go again. Okay, cool. I have enough <laughs> enough will generation in here to kind of just keep going for a bit. So I'm not mad about it. Okay, so blast. Kill the guy. That's good. We'll take it. Blast. This refreshes everything. Go. All right, cool. Nice, actually. A pretty solid combat. Ended up taking nothing. Our defense is in really good shape. I need to get stronger. I need to do more damage. The crits are nice. That plus big number was solid. But I think magic power is the play here. Entwine is playing a big part of my run, though. All right, I'm going to take the crit damage, actually. We're going to lean a little on that. Whole enemies is hard to skip. I could gain even more shield. No, I think I'm okay. I think pulling is really, really good with gunk filled. So I will take this. Yeah, we'll do the yank. It's hard to skip the yank, in my opinion. Move on. We're in pretty okay shape so far. This is my next ascension. I have six glyphs. We get loom. Incredible. I couldn't have asked for better. Red gives me ability power. Yeah, please. I want to... Uh, this is looking like big stitch energy if I go there. Yeah, we'll take it. If I get, like, extract orb out of blink, it's pretty solid, too. Quickened ink. Quickened blink, that's at every turn. I get a teleport. But, I mean, if I take the... That doesn't really matter, right? It's not bad. Every turn I get a freebie. Eh. Sure, why not? Fine. Could be worse. Could be better. Inflict threaded before dealing damage. Stitch can hit non-threaded enemies. Well, reduce the will cost of a random binding by one. This is super synergistic with the whistle, though. So I think I'm actually just going to take this and be happy with it. Okay, fine. Fully augmented bindings. Oh, I should be visiting the carver, shouldn't I? That's true. I might actually... I didn't even think about my stupid run quest. I actually might not even get it this run now. Ah, dang it. Oh my god, but it's okay because I have loom. Look at this. Look at that beauty. Ooh, buddy. And then we do chain lightning because I like abusing things. And then we just absolutely frag everything. Behold, the power of loom... Incredible. I could have yanked everything together before doing this, but I'm greedy. Instead, I just blow up everything. We take this orb, we walk over here, and we kill this man. And we're happy about that. Kaboom. And we walk out of the resulting death zone. Actually, the right play here is you walk towards a wall. You do this because enemies have to approach you, and this forces them to cluster. This is actually some elite tech. You see, like, they cluster in a very satisfying way when you do this. Which is very good. Anyway, the first play is we yank. Then we bomb. 
Although I think the right play is to yank them even closer and then bomb. I mean, this is, this is, here you go. This is, this is Weaver right here. Weaver, weak, weak class. Nope. Take this, just leave. <laughs> just, just leave, stand next to the wall again. Enemies are forced to cl cluster a bit. Now, obviously, oh no, like I'm stuck. Movement bindings don't make you take damage. I, sh I can just walk out of this and it's fine because they're all clustered. So I do this, we yank them, right? Great news. I walk out, I bomb this loser, take the orb and leave, and that's a turn. Now, I think I do want to cluster over here a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. We'll wiggle out. Enemies have to group up a bit. Maybe that's an elite tech that people aren't familiar with is how do you force enemies to cluster, but... Man, this is so late for golden sails. I can't do it. I think the double smite on Blooming Un is probably good. It's two more ability power. Sure, that's 20% damage, man. The burn damage is a lost cause. Yes, let's reroll this one. You know what? One ability power is good. And I will take the ability power here because I actually prefer benefiting in Twine as much as possible. This is a really strong take. Crit chance on lethal lightning. Sure, why not? It's fine. We're down to the wire on my upgrades. Oh, I do get my setup. I get it in Act 3, but that's okay. That's okay. Ah. Unearthed Relic. On gaining shield, gain two ability power until end of turn. I have a lot of ways of gaining shield. That's very strong. Cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to... I guess I should keep Flamio because I use it for smiting. Right? It's like 200 damage a turn. That's funny. I think Unearthed Relic is much better than Whispered Invitation, however. I also think we could... Sea Trickle is going to fall off a bit of a, click, a cliff here. I said a click. A bit of a cliff because there aren't going to be big waves coming up. I actually do think Nim the Lost may benefit from this, but I'm already kind of killing everything a little fast. We've powered up a bunch. So let's take... We have how much money? I'm going to take the Blessed Brickstones. And then we'll come back and buy Unearthed Relic, I think. Yeah, this is just going to straight up represent like three turns and it matches. And then I should make 60 gold from this combat. I should. You get paid out a little bit. It's worth it. If I come back, I can get it and then we'll be good to go. We'll replace Seed Trickle because I'll actually benefit from Seed Trickle a little bit here. There are enemies. Right. So now... I think it is correct to thread everything, even though I am looking for a massive entwine hit, which does kill everyone. I can do it with the chain lightning, right? Chain lightning everything, then we thread, or rather, we, then we thread Nim and we nuke him. True, true. Oh, one stack of frostbite to enemies on your turn. So if they're threaded, they get frostbite. So I can get rid of Flamio. It's actually kind of bad. Okay, so here's my play. Red. Wait for it. Chain Lightning. And then we Kamehameha here. And it's good. Bam. Love that. Do it again. Bam. We then thread him again, which resets it. Bam. Orb. Bam. We try our best. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Yeah. It was a good turn. It's pretty reasonable. Everything resets here. Now we're at the point where I think we actually do want to thread a bunch of stuff so I can get respectable bombs here out of my stitch, which is currently a Garbo skill. True. True, true, true. I also want to get shield. So I think it is important to yank and use this as a shield generator. I'm gonna pour out. I'm yeah, exactly. I'm taking zeros here, so I'm doing okay. Okay, I'm gonna take another bomb on him. I think then I can do it almost one more time. Yeah, 
I, I can cycle my cooldowns very fast here. I'm saving the stitch hit for, well, I was hoping for a better play, but I guess there wasn't one. Cool, now we stitch hit him, it's fine. I was looking for an enemy to spawn, but no one spawned on that turn, so it's fine. Orb, bomb, wait for it. Stitch is actually probably weaker than Loom, which is funny. Then we bomb him again. Incredible. Then we keep doing this. We're doing all right, taking zero here. It's slow, actually. It's not that great. Okay, I, this is a guaranteed damage turn, so I need to use this to power up my damage. It's good. I'm gonna teleport out of that, which should reset. We then phase him. I'm gonna save this orb. Cool. Good. We're, we're making up the difference thanks to, where is it? Blessed Brickstones doing huge work here. I'm gonna try to set up a big stitch on this turn because I think it matters more than other plays would. Right? Yeah, big Stitch at least does something here. Good. Cool. I need to spend Ember to walk. I'm gonna walk over here for it. Yeah, I'll spend Ember on this. It's okay. Or will, whatever you want to call it. it yanks them. I then do it again. Good, I then take this, I teleport, and we start bombing the boss to the best of our ability. Right, it's just bomb boss, get shield, and I like it. I, will, I blink and then I can do it again. And then I can hit him, and then I can do it again. And we actually almost take zero on the turn because I just used entwine so many times. It's kind of crazy, huh? Maximize your stitch. Bomb. Stitch. Teleport. Orb. Teleport. Bomb. Bomb. Hit him. Bomb. Perfect. Whew, good. So this is just like Entwine Span. Now, sadly, Entwine is not doing a ton of damage here. Let's look at our upgrades first. I get double rerolls here if I want them. Oh, but this is good. This is good. Lice is like super it here. 212, I need a huge damage jump, and this is it. And I have Loom, so reattaching is very easy. Right? Yeah. This, it's got to be Splice here. We have the AoE kind of managed. I'm also using Entwine to abuse for shield here. So we're going to take Splice, and we're going to be very happy about that. Great news. Cool. Yeah, 25% crit chance. Critical Stitch is going to be good here, I think. Time to do 150, make this skill actually suddenly do cracked damage. Great news. Cool. And then we run away. Okay. I'm going to look at what we got. I didn't get enough money. Ah, oh, it's a shame. That's okay. That would have been pretty good. But I think that we will benefit much more from the Blessed Brickstones. This is powering me up a lot. So we chill on our cash. It's fine. I'm guaranteed my run quest after elites. Don't take the, the health yet. So as long as I don't die here, and that seems pretty unlikely to me. I think we have the tools to not lose. Oh my god, they gave Rampager to these buffoons? Woof. Okay. Fortunately, I do a million damage to them. But let's abuse this for some... Pull in action here. Yank them in, friends. All right, we're going to try to do as much damage as I can reasonably do here. Hit them. Wiggle. Orb. Detach. Make sure I have all my orbs up here. Yes. Now, 
I should teleport. Well, I was going to say because it makes something free, and I was kind of hoping it would be entwine or splice, but that's okay. We just chill on it. Okay, this next turn, they run the risk of insta-giving me if I'm not careful. Okay. We have a critical stitch, which actually is busted here with this. I did roll critical stitch on this one, which saves me literally 40 damage. Although I would have been able to dodge some of this thanks to Blink, but yeah, this is nutty. The hit is crazy. Get me closer over here. Yeah, crazy damage. Suddenly, Stitch is cracked. Let's... Yeah, I want to pull them all in, please. Which lets me... Stitch roll. Recharge it. Wiggle now. Grab orb, wiggle out. Pull... Guys doing how much damage? Okay. That is a very large number, I agree. Wow. 57, huh? That's why you gotta be scared of Rampagers. Now, fortunately, I think we have the tools to not just immediately perish. Ah, oh, I have a teleport. Never mind. The game is free. Just critical blast this loser. Bam! Then we orb him again, and we're chilling. Great work, go team. I think we're fine. The the pickup on Stitch to Splice is just nuts, honestly. Lightning. Can I walk out of this? I can. Which means we just kill a man, which is great. I'm gonna yank him. Oh, he's actually not threaded anymore, so thread him. I'm gonna make sure we're standing out of it. Pull him. I completed some quest. Teleport. Orb. Yank him again. Splice him. Or actually, we just keep blasting him and pulling him slightly, and then eventually he dies fully. Great, he's actually just dead on that turn. We are quite strong all of a sudden. Oh yeah, on hitting, inflict one stack of shocked. Well, that's going to be strong. I can loom entire groups and then just nuke them with splice. So goodbye, sea trickle, you've served me well. And then I think it's actually six crit chance. I mean, four physical power is just straight up 80 damage on entwine. But if I roll crits more often, I think we're in much better shape. So let's take the crit chance. I think the more you have of it, the better you're off. Better off you are. Cool. Cross stitch plus 30 damage for each thread. Yeah, let's make this even stronger, please. Can I reroll into critical stitch a second time? Let me find out. Oh, buddy, it does let me do it. Oh my god. Yeah, all right, sure. Excuse me. This is what? 390 critical damage on a 93% crit chance. Okay. All right. I feel pretty strong. Let's go grab the health I left behind for my, like, what is this? One heal. Hey, you know what? That could be the, the life between winning and losing. Anyway, we're having a pretty good time of it. Finally, I get my claim rewards. Good job. Well done. Let's see what I get. Omic Orb Walkers. I think I have a quest for that. Right? I think I actually do have a quest for this, which is kind of neat. I don't need Flamio anymore anyway, because my Loom, as long as I have it a leave, end a turn with an enemy threaded, they get Frostbite, which triggers this. So, Wolo's Bloodletter's not bad. I don't know. That's not it. I'm going to take the Omic Orb Walkers, right? Hold up. I actually do think I have a quest to use this stupid thing. Where is it? I don't normally think about this. Yeah, okay. I have to collect eight orbs with these on. Sure. Goodbye, Flamio. You did not serve me well. Well, look at this. There's nothing I can do. I probably would take glass cannon here straight up. But 
I don't have, I don't have any reason to spend this money. No, we're fine. We move on. I was gonna say if I have heavy pockets, I just spend it out, but we're okay. Let's move on. I think we blast Cinder. I, we do a lot of damage right now and we're very single target all of a sudden thanks to Splice. So I think we're fine. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's this loser. All right, let's get this, let's get this done. I think we should be able to just hashtag send this into the shadow realm here, right? Critical stitch, straight up kills, good grief. It's like straight up kills this 5,000 HP thing. And the guy below, that's pretty good, huh? Great, so now if I thread, I think I refresh some stuff, right? Yeah, here you go, wait a second, wait a second. Let, me, let me phase him real fast. That seems good. He teleports. Then I can chain lightning him. Wait for it, wait. I have to thread him. Ah, oh, I don't have enough ember, it's okay. It's fine, whatever. Hey look, I crit. Yeah, he gets smote, that's good. Did anyone spawn? No? Sucks to be them. All right, cool. So, oh, he has a lot of shield. I was like, why is he taking so little damage from my super nuke? And it's actually just because I can straight phase him here, yeah. Cool, grab the orb. I'll teleport and I'll eat this shroom real quick and just cleanse the one. And then I guess we chill. It's fine. Cool, I don't really see much of a challenge here. This guy all the way over there, what a loser. Well, I guess I'm gonna blast this guy, right? Door, we'll just kill him real quick. I'll take this orb, I'm gonna teleport. Right? I need to get out of the goop. Nah, I'm in the goop. Why would you put me in the goop, game? It's fine. It's fine. I am gonna take this hit, but I think I'm actually okay. I just critical blast this guy because I may as well do some damage to him, sure. And then we thread him one last go, which is cool. End the turn threaded. Fine, I do want to, can I get some chain lightning action? No, of course they don't clip to each other. That's fine, we'll just make our own shock then. And then, look at this, how did I not roll a crit? Can we talk about this? 50. Okay, it's 50, it's 73. It's actually not as high as I thought it was. Fine, fine. Fine, I'm annoyed, it's okay. Why am, oh, they didn't fix the perma green goop, so I don't even know where I am right now. It's okay, I'm definitely not in it. Well, that's the cinder pox, hold up. I know what I'm talking about. I super know what's going on in this game. Or, ha <laughs> ha wait for it, loser. Get smote, bam. Now, I do need to walk out of this attack. I'm taking seven here. How much is he doing? Eight? How much do I have? Six? Oh, I can just teleport. What am I concerned with? Yeah, whatever. Boop. Cool. Good job. Hey, look, we rolled a crit. Hey, look, some losers. Wait for it. Oh, yeah. There's that crit I love to see. Damn. Now we do it again. Wait for it. Both. Okay. Oh, guy up there's not threaded and he's flying. Lame. Let's, I guess we just kill this guy. And then we walk over here. Oh, I may as well eat this shroom, right? Now we walk out. Cool. Good job. Go team. Cool. I think we chill. I, I can't do anything to the boss here. I haven't done a lot of damage to him, sadly. I mean, it's really, it's the shield. Honestly, 8% of his max HP as a shield every other turn is actually kind of sizable. 
Let's walk away. I'm gonna walk towards him. I wanna get close. Now, why did he get shield again? Can we answer that question? I thought this says every other turn. Why does he still have shield? Ugh. Whatever, I'll punch through this too. Ugh. Lame. Can I get closer to this orb without triggering them both? That's a real question. Here we go, close enough, good. Orb. Bomb. Bomb. Zap. Bomb. Power. Blast. Teleport. Cool. Now, I would like to kill... Yeah, here we go. I was gonna say, I would like to kill one of these... Weirdos. The tree people here. Come on, here we go. Get me out of the goop, please. Please. It's fine. All right, we got the guy. Now, I want to pull him and focus all this damage on him if possible. Yoink him in. I would like to kind of keep this going. I have a critical slam on this guy, right? It's good. Then I zap him again. Critical slam here. I am gonna teleport on this one. I'm gonna grab the orb. I do stop four damage here and it technically stops nine. I'm taking some guaranteed though, which is spicy. Can I hit him here? Guy up here, no, I can't, unfortunate. I could thread him, Cinder's not threaded though, so I'm not getting controlled weaving on this turn. I guess I have the blink back? Well, I already have one stack of evasive. If I just kill this guy, then I think we're okay, right? Yeah, I take four from the pox combined with this guy's attack. Now, I do need to cleanse this. I think it matters, so let's walk a bit. This is controlled weaving. They've both been super zapped, or shocked, rather. Let's reconnect. Room is necessary here. Good. I need to pull, I think. Okay, good. I need to wait for it. I mean, as well. Man, I wish lightning actually arced from the bosses. Good grief. Ugh. I can do some damage here and then teleport and we're okay. So let's pull this guy. Then I'm going to teleport orb. Hey, I unlocked something, go me. Do I phase change here and accept some poison damage? It's not a bad call. Phasing here with zero cinderpox buffs is pretty solid. I actually think this is super correct, yeah? Yeah, I think that is a good phase change. We chill, we still take zero. Oh. Oh my god, does that apply Cinderpox? Was that not worth it, actually? I took like 10 Cinderpox from that. That actually maybe was a terrible mistake. I did not realize that. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. Well, we're at least doing solid damage here, which I will accept. I get another blast on this, but I have to thread him first, which is okay. And then we hit him. We might, I think we get through this. I maybe should have potions of power that turn. That was a really good turn to do it. Yeah, we're gonna take like a million damage on this guy, aren't we? That's true. So here's the deal. It's potion of power time. Full send, let's go. Oh, yeah, we just killed this guy immediately. Kaboom for 6k. That was interesting. I've never actually noticed that 
the green pools give you cinder pox and don't do damage. That's a TIL. By the way, I'm at Inkbound, the highest rank of this game, and I just learned that. So incredible. Anyway, I think it was pretty good, honestly. I mean, outside of a couple misplays that I definitely could have played better on, obviously, they were misplays. I think we did a well, well enough job. We pulled it through. Harmonizing Whistle ended up being the nutty hit that I wanted with my mix of Entwine on one cooldown plus everything else. Splice ended up being really critical, literally and like figuratively, literally because it had a 73% crit chance, which was incredible for how much damage it did on a crit, but figuratively because it was necessary for my run, this pickup was huge. So that was great. Eventually, we scaled to a reasonable enough level. I don't think Ormic Orbwalkers actually did a lot, but it's okay. I, we still won. It was free damage. It's fine. So it was free. We did a lot of smiting, actually, which is kind of cool, too. But but yeah, so good stuff overall. Oh, also, Stone Pitch Pipe really deserved a shout as well. So good stuff. I'm, I'm glad we did it. And Weaver is strong. Get that W on Inkbound. So cool. Not much really else to say other than your giveaway code. So here's the deal. I think the most interesting part of this run was what we learned about Cinderpox. So if you use the word Cinderpox in a sentence, that will be my clue that you have entered the giveaway. And I will figure out how to contact you afterwards. Uh, if it ends up being that I cannot figure it out, well, I will message you and we'll sort it out somehow. So, hey. What can I say? They intended these codes as a giveaway for Twitch, and I'm trying my best on YouTube, but here we are. So yeah, that's all I've got for you. So hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.